by the sailor yeah. <laughs> welcome back to airbros review sa today we've got the levithian nova vista um it's the psz which means zero uh regulator in uh, we'll be reviewing that today um i just uh, want to tell you a little bit more about we've got these t eagle scopes uh, this one is r416 by 44 aoe it's going for a good price it's got a nice audible turret and windage on the side here and obviously on this side you will have your um, illuminated reticle and then in the front you would have your adjustable um, parallax setting for whatever distance you're going to shoot and it is in yards this side will then be your magnification to zoom in and out and obviously it comes with flip up covers quite nice ones and for the money that you pay this thing is quite clear for your eye it's going to be awesome you must really have a look through these scopes for the price range and the clarity that you get is pretty awesome the tube in the middle here is about 25 millimeters which is one inch people would call it so we use the offset mount we're going to put it on this Nova Vista Levithian the zero gauge so let's just unbox this box here what it what it entails of everything inside this box let's have a look so it comes in a box not a hard carry case obviously for the price they can't put it in a hard carry case then your price will go up these things are really priced in a very good bracket for the entry level person that wants to start out to shoot with pcp air guns and i'm telling you one thing this is the, the model that comes with its own pump. We will show you it's disassembled on the inside here. It comes with a nice manual. If you have a look at this, furthermore, just looking through it, it comes in the plastic bag. You've got your full probe over there. You've got some Allen keys. You get one magazine. You've got your manual book here. What's nice about this one, it tells you everything in English, what you may do and what you may not do. If you have a look, it even shows you how to fill it up, how the safety works. Don't put your safety in the middle. Obviously, it's pretty cool. You can then they show you how to deep depressurizing the gun if you ever need to. It comes with a single shot loading tray and also with your magazine. I think it's a 10 shot. Let's have a look here. Can be under correction. Yeah, it's a 10 shot magazine. Then obviously they can show you how the hammer and everything works on the inside of this gun if you need to adjust your power and they'll tell you how to do it advanced system tuning if you need to do it I really don't think so out of the box is pretty cool you can adjust your two straights trigger that it comes with it's got a nice diagrams in this book to show you how everything works and what you should uh, set in that that is pretty good to have this little book it's really nice not many um, air gun manufacturers have this uh, I think this is pretty cool for the guy that doesn't know how to use it everything is in this book to tell you if you do not know, please info us at pelagons.com and we will help you out with whatever you want to know. It even tells you how to assemble this nice little pump. This pump can charge up to 300 bar, which this gun is also a 300 bar thirsty air eating air gun, meaning to pump it up. But you get about, let's call it 80 shots per full, which is quite nice. And then obviously it's got a diagram to say how many uh, O-rings you've got and your spares and how everything looks. It's a breakdown of your pump. And then it just shows you how to, like I said, put it together and service your own things. Which is quite nice. I really think this is a must in all the air gun uh, boxes. You must have a, a little manual telling you from A to Z everything what's happening with the air guns. Because um, everybody is starting to become air gun enthusiast. And some of them don't know what to do. So there's a lot of forums to look at that. But it would be very nice if you have it air gun specific for your gun. How everything works. But anyway, let's go and unbox this pump that we've got with us. So it comes in a nice square box. So that's how it would look. Have a look at that. You've got the pump. You've got the handle. You've got your gauge. So basically in the in the manual they'll show you how to put this one together so obviously we've done a quite a lot of these together so you would take your bleed off put it in there just screw it in obviously that's it 
and then you're going to have to loosen this and then you're going to have to tighten it here at the bottom so that's your butterfly feet um, your handle and your uh, pipe and all that will be in there so your pipe will go at the bottom and then your gauge in this box will go into the top one you just tighten and fasten those things quite nice and then obviously you're good to go to pump up your gun um, it is a cheaper option to use the pump if you want to get fit use this pump it really works nicely uh, but if you've got a little bit of more money at the end of the day you would rather want to go for a dive cylinder but if you want to start off this one is the one to start off with it you'll be able to fill up your gun you don't it's not going to be so expensive buying a dive cylinder and so on and you'll be able to go and take your gun now today home just get yourself a nice decent scope and you get yourself uh, some pellets assemble this pump hand pump foot pump that like i can say it's going to make you quite tired when you pump it up for the first time right from zero to 300 bar but once you're shooting and you shoot it all the way from 300 bar down to 180 or let's call it 150 then you pump it up again because if you go all the way down to 100 you're going to be very tired that 50 extra it makes a big difference but it's not me to say it's you can do it however you want to do it but yeah uh, all i want to just trying to say is to you guys is this is a very cheap option where you got your your um pump you don't need a dive cylinder because this this gun and everything costs almost the same price as a dive cylinder whereas you get a gun and a pump for the same price as a dive cylinder which i think is a great bargain but furthermore let's go and have a look at this beauty so it is quite light to the feel i really love the, the weight of this so it also depends on the price that you pay for it you get a nice entry level pcp very light your kids the whole family can enjoy this your wife because it's not so heavy so they can even shoot it out of the face um, I really really enjoy these guns they're very accurate with pellets I haven't tried with them um, uh, the, the the slugs because the slugs uh, I haven't found them to be working with this gun as well but with the pellets they are darn spot on uh, see there's the single loader it's already in its tray there the single loading tray so you'll remove it out from the top we're going to use the magazine today it's got its nice safety on the side here it's right here it's quite easy to use it says s for safe and f for fire it's got its manometer here which is the gauge for the bottle pressure you'll see the regulated one has the regulator gauge on this side but this is the unregulated one it comes with a pump in the box great feature another thing i want to talk about is this cap here on the front is the standard one this is how it comes with you can then after it's an additional extra order yourself from our shop this is the normal standard one it's called the donny fl one this one right here so once you put this it will go over your barrel and it will centralize it way better and you've got an option to add a silencer if you need to be shooting in the backyard because plenty of people ask can i shoot this in the backyard yes it's up to your own discretion yeah in south africa if you shoot in your own backyard just make sure you shoot in your backyard not in the other neighbor's backyard make sure it's safe i'm not saying you must do it but people we are in south africa we do that in lockdown we were shooting in the back garden and it was pretty nice just put on a silencer so you don't annoy your uh, uh, neighbor so I would suggest get yourself this one it aligns it it helps it a little bit with more with accuracy and a silence if we go have a look it's got a side lever by Athlon cocking lever this gun it's also it's it's not quiet uh, with with uh, without a silencer you'll hear now if I pull it so it's got quite a bit of a bark but once you put this on and a silencer definitely it's gonna be way more quieter and yeah you get about call it 80 shots per full i would shoot it up to 70 but you can get 80 if you're squeezing it and we're gonna see what pellet it likes today generally it likes the 18.13 grain pellets if we have a look it's got an adjustable trigger like we showed you on the manual you'll be able to adjust that your degasser please do not think it's going to remove your stock this is going to be a degasser so it's going to blow out the air um, that's your filling port 
It comes with a Picatinny rail here for a bipod, Atlas style bipod. Uh, you know, there's plenty of bipods out there. Depending on you, which one you like and your budget, get yourself any one of those. It's got a rubber butt piece here at the back. The stock is plastic. Some people do fill it up to make it a more of a solid feeling. I uh, personally would just leave it as is because it makes it more lighter. Yeah, for the price that you pay, it's pretty darn good. I really like it. It's got a little barrel band here in the front just to hold things in, in place. T-Eagle scope and we're going to shoot on 50 meters, 5 shot groupings. We'll see which pellets work the best but I'm rating the 18 JSBs, 0.13. JSBs will work the best on 50 meters, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we had 50 meters. I put on that Donny FL stabilizer to hold the barrel and the silencer to make it a little bit quieter. So the only thing you can hear is the hammer hitting here. We're going to do a five shot grouping at 50 meters. Um, let's go check how it does. It's shooting them a little bit fast, but but hey, let's check what it can do. 944. One thing I can say is it's very quiet. With a silence on. That is pretty good, eh? Okay, one thing I want to mention is you get about 40 shots per full and um, not 80. What we've just realized now, uh, straight out of the box, we read from the specs, um, but we got 40 shots per full here and it's shooting them at 944 feet per second with the JSB 18 grains. One thing I want to mention is if you shoot it standard with this front end cap, you are not going to get tight groupings at all. You maybe get maybe a two inch grouping at 50 meters. So I'll put it maybe on like just through the scope cam quickly how we did it at 50 meters with this piece on. So we did get a little bit of inaccuracy. It wasn't too accurate. So we decided to put on that, so we'll call it a stabilizer, barrel stabilizer, because it's quite long from Donny FL. And it's got a part where you can install a silencer uh, I think it's a half inch UNF thread in the front and uh, let's go look at that 50 meter grouping you'll see the difference between the two I could not believe it so it's worth it to spend a little bit more pennies to get that adapter to get your accuracy let's go have a look so we had 50 meters we shot the JSB 18 grains if you have a look from center to center, it's about 14 uh, millimeters, which is not too bad, especially those pellets traveling at 944 feet per second. It's quite spot on. If you take it out to the hunting fields, I think it will be pretty a good contender if you want to go use it on pigeons and so on. Uh, even if you want to stretch it a bit further, it's going to be also quite easy. Um, it is very quiet if you have the silencer on, so you will be able to shoot it and not bother other people. But without the silencer, your grouping does open. And without that adapter from Donny FL, it does open a little bit. So if you want a little bit more extra accuracy, install that Donny FL silencer adapter and you'll be A for away. So please like, share and subscribe to Ebro's Review channel. And we'll see you in the next one for more episodes on upcoming air guns that are top-notch. See you later. Cheers, bye.